Vanakam, this is going to be a great uh, time for you as you are uh, listening the video lesson presented for you by Vidya Lakshmi Senior Secondary School, Vellur. This is a foundation course in mathematics and this is a series of video lesson and in this series we are listening uh, version 2.0. In version 2.0, this is actually our fourth video lesson. In each and every video lesson, in the topic of indices, we are solving five numerical problems and by the same way, in this video lesson also, we are going to solve five numerical problems in the same topic indices. Okay. Let us now start our lesson with our first question. Okay. Yes. Uh, you can see the question over the screen. First, let me take the question as it is given here. 2 power 1 by 2, comma 3 power 1 by 3, comma 4 power 1 by 4, comma 6 power 1 by 6 and at last we are having 12 power 1 by 12. Uh, this is actually a comparison type of question. Uh, here we can observe that the bases are different in each case. Here 2 is the base and 3 here 4, 6, 12 we are having the base. And what about the exponent? The exponent we can see that 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 6 and 1 by 12. Yes, all are fractions. Already we studied that in the case of fractions, if you want to compare, the first thing that we have to do is we have to make the denominator same. Okay. Unless the denominator is same, we can't compare. Okay. First thing that what I am going to do here, I want to make the denominator same. Okay. In the case of fractions, right? So uh, you can see that yes, uh, what I want to do is I want to make the denominator same. So for that, I want to take the LCM for the denominators of these exponents: uh, two, three, four, six, twelve. For two, three, four, six, twelve, the LCM is twelve. Okay. So in the next step, I want to convert all the exponents to be with the same denominator 12. So 2 to the power of this 2 is going to become 12 by multiplying with 6. 3 to the power of this 3 is going to become 12 by the multiplication of 4 so that I am having 4 in the numerator. By the same way here this 4 is going to become 12 by the multiplication of 3. So, I am multiplying by 3 in the numerator and here this will become 12 and we will have 2 in the numerator and finally 12 power 1 by 12 I will be taking the same. Okay, fine. Now, all the exponential values are having the same denominator in the exponent. Okay. Now, next what I want to do in the case of comparing the exponents we should have the same exponent. See in the case of fractions we should have the same denominator but when we look at the exponential value we should have the same exponent for comparison. So I want to make each and every exponential value to be with the same exponent, same power. Okay. So for that I am just writing this in this form. Okay. 2 to the power of 6 raised to 1 by 12. Do you understand this? See, this 6 I am taking separately and taking over the 2 and this remaining we are having is 1 by 12. So, by the same way, 3 to the power of 4, the whole raised to 1 by 12. 4 to the power of 3, the whole raised to 1 by 12. 6 to the power of 2, the whole raised to 1 by 12 and at last 12 to the power of 1 by 12, no changes in that. Okay. So, I want to simplify furthermore. 2 to the power of 6, what is 2 power 6? 2 power 6 is 64. So, 64 to the power of 1 by 12 we are having. The next, 3 power 4 is 81. 81 to the power of 1 by 12. Then, we are having 4 cube. 4 cube is 64. 64 to the power of 1 by 12. Then here 6 square is 36. 36 to the power of 1 by 12. And here 12 to the power of 1 by 12. 
okay <coughs> so you can see that all are having the same exponent okay 1 by 12 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 so as because of the exponents are same now we can compare the exponential values okay so you have to remember that whenever we are comparing the exponential values the exponents must be same that is the power must be same for all the given different values okay we have to make it uh, to be with same power same exponent and then we can compare with the basis okay right now we are going to compare now we have to find the largest value it is given to find the largest so among this uh, five values which is largest 64 power 1 by 12 81 power 1 by 12 64 power 1 by 12 36 and 12 power yes oh obviously 81 power 1 by 12 is the largest among the given so definitely this 81 to the power 1 by 12 is largest so this 81 to a power 1 by 12 is actually coming from 3 power 1 by 3 so 3 power 1 by 3 is the largest among the given five values so the exact option is 3 power 1 by 3 it is option b it is the correct answer i hope that you understand this problem and now i'm going to the next problem okay right question number two yes uh, an equation is given an exponential equation is given i want to take the question clearly 2 power n minus 7 multiplied by 5 power n minus 4 is equal to 1250 what is asked we have to find the value of n we have to find the value of n n actually it is in the part of exponent and the base we are having 2 and 5 in the left side and right side we are having your numerical value 1250 what my idea is actually um, as because of that we are having the basis 2 and 5 in the left side i want to convert this 1250 to be with 2 and 5 in the base okay see how i'm converting this 1250 i'm taking and i want to make prime factorization starting from 5 okay 5 twos are 10 and 5 fives are 25 0 and here again i am going to divide by 5 so 5 fives are 25 so 50 next again i am going to take uh, going to divide by 5 so 5 tens are 50 also again i can go with 5 so 5 twos are 10 so these are the prime factors of this 1250 so i can express this 1250 as 5 raised to 4 multiplied by 2 raised to 1 because 5 we are having 4 times here and 2 we are having 1 time here so 5 raised to 4 and 2 raised to 1 uh, so this is equated with 2 power n minus 7 multiplied by 5 power n minus 4 okay yes now i can see that the <coughs> the bases are same on both sides now i can equate the exponent but uh, you should be very careful that when you are equating the exponent we should equate with the corresponding base that is i can tell you we are having 2 here and 2 here so this n minus 7 has to be equated with 1 if you want to equate with the exponent with base 5 then how will you you have to how will you have to equate this n minus 4 has to be equated with 4 because the exponents having the same base has to be compared on both sides okay so when i compare what i am getting you can see that n minus 7 is equal to 1 so what is the value of n when this minus 7 goes that side it will become plus 8 so the value of n is 8 and among the option we are getting uh, option a the correct answer option a is the correct answer for this question okay what about this um, exponent over 5 when you take that exponent what you will have see n minus 4 is equal to 4 and n is equal to this minus 4 goes to right side as plus 4 and it will become 4 plus 4 is 8 the same 8 we are getting it is definitely the same 8 we will be getting because only one value you will be having for n even though if you equate over 2 or else if you equate over 5 then you will be having the same answer the same n equal to 8 we are getting here also that's all okay 
now moving to the question question number 3 third question we are studying here and expression is given here um, okay exponential expression is given here and we want to simplify this and we have to find the exact match of choice given in the um, four options okay right let me take the question for this 16 multiplied by 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of n the whole divided by 16 multiplied by 2 to the power of n plus 2 minus 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of n plus 2. For to simplify this <coughs> what I am going to do I want to take out the common factor that is available in the numerator and in the denominator first. Okay. Uh, let me explain you. The 16 I am just taking the same multiplied by this 2 power n plus 1 I am writing it as 2 power n multiplied by 2 power 1. Okay. Uh, because the product rule of exponents you all know that minus this 4 I am just uh, taking the same multiplied by 2 to the power of n. Clear? Then next step you can see that uh, in the denominator we are having 16 multiplied by 2 to the power of n multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. I am separating this minus 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of n multiplied by 2 to the power of then I want to take out the common factor. You can see that uh, um, oh, the common factor here we are having is uh, here we are having is 2 power n is the common factor here in these two terms. So I can take out 2 power n later on what is the common factor we are having 4 here but not uh, we are having only 4 here in the second term of the numerator. Here we are having 16 also but we can take out only 4 because in this 16 we are having a 4. So the 16 can be expressed as 4 multiplied by 4. 1 4 we can take out as a common factor. So what is the result we are getting 4 we can take out and 2 power n we can take in a, take as a common factor. So what is the remaining here 1 4 we have taken out. So another one more 4 will be there 2 power n we have taken out and another one more 2 will be there minus this 4 taken away and this 2 power n also taken away. So the remaining term is 1 there the whole divided by and here we have to see the common factor in this see 2 power n is a common term common factor we are having here. The next we can see that here we are having 2 square, 2 square is 4, 4 twos are 8. So 8 we can take out because the 16 we can write like 8 into 2. So we can take out 8 as a common factor and 2 power n the common factor. So after taking out what is the remaining uh, thing we are having here. See um, we have taken out 8 so 2 will be there inside 2, this 2 power n taken out and 2 square it is 4 we will be having minus uh, this 2 power n this 2 power n we have taken out and also this 8 we have taken out so only 1 will be there see this is actually 4 into 2 is 8 8 minus 1 it is 7 and uh, in the denominator also we are having the same thing so we can make cancellation here we can make cancellation here so what is the remaining here we are having the remaining thing we are having but here also it is possible to make cancellation this 2 power n and this 2 power n will go off and 4 1 time and 4 2 time 4 2 to the 8. So what is the answer for this um, problem the, simplific uh, the simplified answer we are getting is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the answer and it is actually matching with option C. Option C is the correct answer for this question. Got it? Yes. Now, yes in this question you can uh, observe that an equation is given like 2 power a equal to 4 power b equal to 8 power c and another one more equation given like a b c equal to 2 double 8 and it is asked to find the value of a b and c. Okay. 
so what I am going to do, where I am going to start this problem, I want to start from this equation. It is given that 2 power a equal to 4 power b equal to 8 power c. Okay. Uh, 8 power c. So all these three are equal. Now what I want to do, this 2 power a can be equated with 4 power b. So when I equate this to 2 power a is equal to this 4 I can uh, write like 2 square because 2 square is 4 the whole raised to b I need to take and 2 to the power of 2 into b is 2b so 2a 2 to the power of a in the left side. So the bases are same now on both sides so I can compare the exponents so what I am getting a is equal to 2b I am getting a equal to 2b I am getting. On the other hand, I can make another one more relation by comparing this to 4 power b is equal to 8 power c. 4 I can write like 2 power 2, the whole power b and 8 I can express like 2 power 3 is 8, okay, the whole power c. So you can see that 2 power 2b, this is actually 2 power 2b by the power rule of exponent and here we will be having 2 power 3c. Bases are same, so the exponents can be equated, so 2b is equal to 3c. So these are the two relations we are getting, another one more relation also possible, uh, okay that is nice. Uh, let me do the problem by having these two relations. Now I am going to be, uh, I am going to work with this abc is equal to 288, two okay, uh, okay fine. This a I am going to keep it same and b I want to replace. So when I find the value of b from this, what you will have? You will be having b equal to a by 2. Am I right? Yes. When you want to find the value of uh, c from this, c is equal to 2b, 2 times b divided by 3. Okay? Fine. Um, again and what I want to do, I want to replace this b by a. No. Um, <coughs> okay. So, b I can write like a by 2 and c I can write like 2b by 3. Okay. So, in this expression, after making these changes, b I am going to express like a by 2. So, I want to replace b there by a by 2. So, for b I am going to substitute a by 2 and for c I am going to make 2b by 3, 2b by 3 equal to 288, okay. So, next again I want to change this b, how I am going to change, yes, a by 2, a by 2 for b. So, what it will become, 2a by 6 it will become which is equal to 288, okay. The next step, in the next step you can see that uh, this 2 we can make cancellation over here with this 288 as like uh, 2 1 time and here 144 you will be having, okay. So after cancellation what is the remaining we are having is a into a into a that is a cube we are having here and in the right side we are having 144 this 2 and 6 will be multiplied with this 144 over right side, okay. So 2 and 6 will go to right side and it will become the product, fine. So a cube is equal to 144 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6. This is what we are having, okay. So you know that uh, this 144 we may write like uh, 12 square and this 6 into 2 is actually again a 12. So we are having 3 times 12 in this, okay. So, we can express like 12 power 3, okay. So, a cube is equal to 12 power 3. Uh, here we can see that uh, the exponents are same, here also 3 and here also 3. So, what about the, the base, we can equate the base. So, when you equate the base what we are getting, a is equal to 12, the value of a we are getting is 12. Yes, successfully we found the value of a. And that a value has to be substituted here for to get the value of b. So when you substitute here 12, what you will be having? 12 by 2. 12 by 2 is 
6. So, the value of B we are getting is 6. Okay. The next, if you want to find the value of C, we have to substitute the value of B here. So, we have to substitute this 6 here. So, when you substitute 6, 6 twos are 12, 12 by 3 you will be having what? 4. Yes. So, the value of C we are getting is 4. So, B is 6 and C is 4. So, A equal to 12, B equal to 6 and C equal to 4. 12, 6, 4. 12, 6 and 4. Yes, 12, 6 and 4 it is there in the option A. Option A is the correct answer. 12, 6, 4. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, moving to the last question of this session. This is actually a similar question that we studied in question number 3. Yes. Let me take the question carefully. 10 multiplied by 5 power n plus 1 plus 25 multiplied by 5 power n the whole divided by 3 multiplied by 5 power n plus 2 plus 10 multiplied by 5 power n plus 1. Okay. Now, I want to see the common factors that is available in the numerator and denominator for to take out. Okay. Here, here uh, uh, you can see that uh, here we are having only 25. Okay. 25. Um, right. Fine. I want to express this in the form of this 10 we can write like 5 into 2. Okay. This 5 power n plus 1 we can write like 5 power n multiplied by 5 power 1 that is 5. Okay. Here this 25 we are having plus not plus it is multiplication multiplied by, multiplied by 5 power n. Okay. In the denominator part we are having here 3 multiplied by this 5 power n plus 2 how we can express 5 power n multiplied by 5 power 2 plus 10 we can write like uh, 5 multiplied by 2 and this 5 power n plus 1 we can write like 5 power n multiplied by 5 power 1. Okay. I have been separated each and every term factorized each and every term. Now, I want to see the common factor that is available for to take out from the numerator and also in the denominator. Okay. Uh, see. Uh, okay. Here we are having 25. This 5 on multiplication with this 5 you will be having 25. So, 25 is the common factor available here in the numerator. And also 5 power n we are having and also here also 5 power n we are having. So, taking out 5 power n, what is the remaining we will be having here? You can see that this 5 we have taken out. So, this 2 is the remaining part. This 5 power n we have been taken out. This 5 also we have been taken out plus everything we have taken out. So, 1 is the remaining there. Do you understand? Right. Divided by now by the same way we have to see the common factor that which it is available in the denominator. Um, okay. 5 square, 5 square we are having here, 5 square is 25 and here also 2 5's we are having here. So, 5 5's are 25. So, that 25 we can take out here also 25 we can take out and 5 power n we can take out. So, multiplied by 5 power n and no any common factors between these two. So, what I want to do? I want to write the remaining terms within the bracket. Okay. So, 3 we are having here the remaining and after taking out we are having 2, just 2 we are having here. Okay. 3 plus 2. Yes, it is clear that we can make cancellation here. After making cancellation, and we have to do simplification. The simplified answer we are getting is 2 plus 1 is 3 by 5. So, 3 by 5 is the answer for this question and that answer is getting matched with option C. 
Yes, 3 by 5 is the correct answer for this question. Okay, that's nice. Yes, we come to the end of the lesson and finally, I want to tell you, yes, we have to, we have to be encouraged as if you are uh, liking the video and if you share with your friends, they may be benefited and also comment over the video. Thank you all. Thank you for watching the video. God bless you all. Bye-bye.